So, you finish your sketch, you got the line art in place and you are ready to color. But the problem is, it's a tedious process. Did you know Krita can do this on your behalf? All you have to do is mark the coloring regions of your line art with the colors you want, hit update when done, and voila! The algorithm will automatically do the heavy lifting for you. Sounds fun? Then stick around. And let me show you how this ingenious technique works. It's perfect for comic artists, illustrators, and anyone who wants to save valuable time on coloring. Okay, let's take a look at how this works. This is a drawing I made of a kitchen knife from a previous tutorial. Links are in the description box if you are interested in how to draw this. Also, the recording of this lesson will be a screencast instead of over the shoulder this time. I'm hardly using my pen in this scenario, using a mouse instead. So, camera recording is pointless here. Besides, screencast quality is far superior. I'm going to record with OBS, you can watch this in the best quality possible. If you have been watching my lessons so far, let me know which you enjoy more, over the shoulder, seeing me drawing while holding a pen, or the standard screencast, maybe both, with an over the shoulder thumbnail in the corner, similar to the streamers you see on Twitch. Now for this to work, there are a couple of conditions your line must meet. 1. Your line art has to be on its own transparent separate layer. 2. Your line art should be clean and consistent. 3. Absolutely positively, no leaks. If you are concerned about the presence of leaks, you can test for leaks with the bucket tool like so. Let's undo that. Now suppose there is a leak here. That is what's going to happen. That's what we call a leak. Colors have leaked outside the confines of its coloring area, as the name suggests. And that is precisely why you don't want any leaks, gaps, holes, or any sort of opening in your line art. Otherwise, the process will fail. You can still color in stuff manually, but it's going to be tedious. And that's the whole point of this video, right? So, obviously this technique is not going to work for sketchy outlines. For example, this is one of the projects I am working on. It's a character called Lisa. Name might change later. It's not going to work for a sketchy scene because the outlines are in pencil-like sketches. If I zoom in, you can see there are a lot of pores, holes, and openings. Unless I redraw this in a closed line art form, this technique won't work. So, like I said, this technique is mainly meant for comics and illustrations. Be aware of that. With that out of the way, let me show you how you can apply this to your illustration to activate Colorize Mask, which is the name of the technique and the star of the show. Select your outline layer first, then click the Colorize Mask tool, go to the tool options to verify the tool is selected, and you should see a box that looks like a sort of checkerboard. The mask is not active just yet though. First of all, make sure you're using a solid brush, otherwise this will not work. I typically use the basic 5 brush. I want to color in the blade surface, so I'm going to mark it with gray. The handle I want it to be brown, so I will place a brown mark right here. Likewise, I will place dark brown to make the bottom look like so and so on. If you omit marks on the circles within the handle, the algorithm will assume you want the entire handle filled with brown instead, including the circles. Be aware of that. Last but not least, you need to mark the background, and this is where it gets interesting. Let's go for green. If that's what you want, you can hit update, and you're done. If you want a transparent background, on the other hand, then you need to mark it as transparent. To do so, just come here and click here to mark it so, and all you have to do is hit update. Wait and let the algorithm do the calculation. If you take a look at the layers, 
it has added a color mask automatically for us no need to worry about adding a separate color layer best of all it's a non-destructive process let's hide the keystrokes to preview the results bingo instant colors and the beauty of this approach is that if you don't like the colors no problems you can change them anytime turn back to edit mode you just erase the mark replace it with the color you want and hit update simple and from there go ahead and paint over your shades details and lighting depending on the complexity of your line art painting base colors with precision can be a pain in the ass so if you're one of those who just finished that line art and can't wait to shade in the details but not just yet because you have to do that flat plain base color that you might not necessarily enjoy this is your shortcut happy painting from there if you want to learn more about this technique aaron rotten talks about it in more details in this video this is a much more complex line art since it's a character illustration this time if you want to appreciate the real power of the colorized mask then this video is a must watch one more thing before i let you go i don't know about you but if you have been using Krita a lot like me it's a godsend possibly the most powerful free open source app on the market i dare say it's the 2d counterpart of blender in the 3d art space if not darn close however it can be pretty tough to learn the nitty gritty with all these tutorial rabbit holes especially the game changer tools like the colorized mask you discovered today worse the amount of tutorials and lessons on the web is nothing compared to photoshop i believe this is what's holding a lot of artists from making the switch to krita so if that's you if you're looking to master the nitty gritty love to learn what's under the hood of this amazing software if your comfort zone or workflow in photoshop or whatever painting app you're using is holding you back then i strongly recommend this three-part concept art series in krita by Wahdi Muttaqeen. This bundle through practical examples, project files, and projects at the end of each section will teach you not only all the tools and techniques you wished you knew earlier, but also the foundation of concept art, from the sketch phase, line art, all the way to shading, lighting, and details. You'll even learn how to create your own brushes in advanced parts layer techniques and tons of hidden tricks you won't find on the web that will save you an incredible amount of time in your workflow like the colorized mask you discovered today and hey this comes from a man who went through this course myself i'm not pitching you this for just the usual self-sponsoring reason here is a proof let me show you a clip i recorded while i was doing the x illustration project from the course if you've been following me on my socials, the equipment and the hand might sound familiar. Full disclosure, I discovered the colorized mask in this course while doing this X. The same technique I used for the cane tutorial and the previous uh, lesson. So I can't take all the credit. Back then I couldn't draw at all. Now the results are standing in front of you. I think you can imagine how much progress I've made. If I could do it, so can you. If you're tired of the fruitless tutorial rabbit hole, frustrated from jumping from course to course to just learn the missing links here and there then this bundle has everything you need don't waste any more time watching more content unless you really love to take a couple more years to figure it out on your own the series are available on both udemy and skillshare if you are busy no problem the first part which is the one for beginners is actually more than enough but I encourage you to invest in the intermediate and advanced part if you really really want to get the most out of it. If you are a premium member on Skillshare, perfect. You can start watching the lessons now at no additional cost. If not, no problem. I've got you covered with a 30 day trial instead of the one week trial Skillshare gives you if you sign up on their website. The invitation link is in the description box. Part one takes you about two weeks to finish even less possibly one week if you are aggressive about it the best part is you can use the same trial period to enroll in a, a ton of different courses as you can possibly imagine not just wahdi series you get an entire month to get a taste of everything you wish to learn and hey 
A lot of these Udemy courses in your wish list are available on Skillshare. If the free previews on Udemy are not enough for you to judge the course's worth, why not use the same trial period to evaluate them? If you've been skeptical for a while, this is your chance to see if they are worth your money. And after the trial, if you love to remain a premium member, great, your support means the world to me. For every sign up, I get a 60% commission if you go premium. If not, no worries. You can try Udemy. The only difference is that you will pay upfront, but you will get a permanent license to use the course for a lifetime. Either way, your support helps me continue making these videos and tutorials for free, and most importantly, helps me pursue my dream to go full time in this gig. So again, links in the description box. Have fun, happy painting, and see you in the next one. <laughs>